IronCAD 2019 has made improvements in the smart e-behavior capabilities for collaboration and configurations. These enhancements are mainly added into the attachment points where you can now add alias names, link attachment points, and even store them in a catalog. Let's go through an example using this lumen extrusion to add some attachment points. So let's go ahead and start by zooming into the bottom area of our profile. We want to add some attachment points located at the bottom and the center and also on the sides of this uh, lumen extrusion. So one method to create attachment points is to use the tribal. You simply turn it on and by default this is in the bottom location where we want an attachment point. We can simply right click on the tribal and create an attachment point at that location. We'll go ahead and give that a name called connect. We'll go ahead and give it a, a connection type using un underscore for n for neutral. Now that we've created that attachment point, we can turn the tri ball off and see that that attachment point's been created. We can also orient it for maybe we want to rotate this around so it's in the opposite direction. We can simply rotate that around, move it there, 180 degrees, and now we have our attachment point oriented in the right location. Now these attachment points, as mentioned before, can be stored into catalogs for reuse. For example, I can now select that attachment point and simply drag and drop it into the catalog, and it is now applied to the catalog. To reuse it, simply drag and drop it out onto another face and it's now positioned in a new location and we can select it and use the tribal to position it to a precise location if we like. In this case, we want it on the middle of this face. We want to slide it in a distance that's half of our thickness of our profile and I'll just go ahead and rotate this to give it an orientation that we would like to use. So 90 degrees. We can now see that and if we go ahead and run our tools, recreate display, we can see that update give us our positioning information. So these attachment points can be used and be relinked into other uh, areas. So for example, this is an attachment point that we want to use and we want to make uh, multiple copies of this on all four sides. Instead of dragging and dropping all these out, we can simply select that attachment point, turn our tri ball on, and it's already in the one orientation that we want. We just want to place it in the center of our object by going to the midpoint of the other. And we can now use the tri ball just to make link relationships. So we go ahead and create a link. We say we want three more of those at 90 degrees. We can go ahead and place those. And we can see now all of our attachment points are created around the, the, lo the locations of this part. Since we created a link of this, you'll see the name identifies it as a link. And we can actually go in and set the name and make changes. For example, maybe we'll make this a coincident constraint on this attachment point as well. You'll notice that the name gets updated here. And if we go to any of the other ones, they all got that same change added to them. So there are linked relationships making it easy to make modifications to these attachment points. Now this, this connector is primarily built up to allow us to do the connection. So for example, if we drag and drop it into the catalog and we can drop it out, we can see that it will actually connect for us. Now in a lot of cases you want to right click and drag and drop to see the various connection points. But notice that you have all these various connections that don't really make any sense to you. So you have no idea which connector is what because it says connect and connect to connect in. So this is where the alias capabilities come in handy. So let's go ahead and delete this component. And what we can do is go into these individual connectors, go into their names, and you'll see a new option here for aliases. For example, this will be our bottom connector. And these can be various other names. So for example, we'll just name this one our right, right connector. And it's got our coincident connection on there. This one is going to be our top connector. This one is going to be our left connector. And we'll last but not least, we'll get the bottom one here and we'll set this as our back connector. So now we have various names on here that make a little bit more sense. So now if I drag and drop that into the catalog and right click and drag and drop it out, we can now see more meaningful names. Now we connect to the bottom to bottom, or the bottom to the back side of the component, or the bottom to left. We can change these orientations around if we like. But we can go to the back to the bottom, back to back, back to left. You can see that these are all giving us pretty much similar relationships that we want. But we can go to, the, for example, left to bottom. If we go right to bottom, you can see it change around the various sides. So it makes a little bit more sense for applying those connectors. So that's what the flexibility and power gives to those attachment points to make these linked relationships 
naming them with the aliases so you can identify them a lot easier, and storing them into the catalog for reuse. So these are some of the enhancements that we've added in 2019 to make the configuration capability much easier.